We have the world card here. Let me get something with the world. Somebody's achieving something here. We have the eight of wands here. Someone is, I mean, it's like at a completion stage here, but something is moving very quickly to be completed or something's just accelerated. We have the death card. Wow. Now Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy here. But this is the end of something for real, like the end of... I even want to say an old way of being, an old world for you. And it's closing out very quickly. We have the Six of Cups energy here. This has to do with somebody from the past. Like it's leaving an old world behind. Somebody has left the cycle completely when it comes to an old past life relationship or six of cups can be like, I don't know, sometimes we're just born in the families of people that did shit to us or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not funny, but it's like there's a complete ending and death to all, that whole like, this is why it's important for people to energetically leave certain energies behind that are not good for you because oh my god it's like the chain being broken for good like it's the energy of like you will not return with these people or how should i i should say it better like these people will not return with you okay these people will not return with you this is the death of something it's like completely dead you will not deal with somebody ever again let me get something here with this. Damn, but it's like, it's something about swift death because the Eight of Wands is here and then the death card came after that. It's something here about swift death. We have the 10 of Wands energy here. And the reason I said swift is because of that Eight of Wands, yeah, confirmation, it's because of that Eight of Wands, but now we got the 10 of Wands here. Okay, let me get something with this Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is a lot of fire. It could even be some type of fire. I'm not trying to say. I'm just, you know, sometimes the energy be like that. But it like, sometimes, you know, that's what changes your whole world. It could even be losing somebody very close to you. We have the Knight of Cups here. Let me get something here with this. Wait, what was that? We have the Five of Wands. A lot of wands in the first row. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, Five of Wands here. It's some type of energy where there's someone competing perhaps with a water sign or somebody that's trying to move forward with what they really want to do. So really, yeah, I'm still getting Capricorn, Scorpio, and let's say other water signs because of this Knight of Cups. It seems to be like this water sign is being blocked from their dreams, from their hopes and wishes, and, you know, from what they really want. They're being blocked. And, you know, to be honest, it's not going to be forever. It's something here that's happening. It's something here that, yeah, it's very swift also. Like, it's on wings or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's somebody here that's Six of Cups, somebody that's, like, you're very attached to or somebody very close to you. If like, okay, let me get something here. I mean, when cycles are closing with the world card and then I see the death card, like sometimes that could be like a real death. And then you got the six of cups, you know, that's that's feelings, that's people. That's a person. This ain't just simply a transformation within. This is something that six of cups is attached to a past life. It's attached to something from the past or something from your childhood or something that's a memory. That shit is about to end. Yeah, confirmation. Thank you. That shit is about to end. Because it has really created a lot of conflict in your life. For somebody that's trying to close out a cycle and move forward, there's no crime. We have the Knight of Wands here. We got a fire sign here. So we got a Knight of Wands and we got a Knight of Cups. But they're going different directions. This Knight of Cups looks like they want to stay in the past. Now we got the King of Wands. I mean, I'm sorry. This Knight of Wands look like they want to stay in the past. This King of Wands is also out here. So the Eight of Wands above this King of Wands head is something about moving quick or taking some type of action here. 
But they're both, what that's so crazy, they're both facing that way though. The Knight of Cups is facing towards the future. They're facing that way. It's like they're trying to drag this person back into the past or some shit. We don't live there no more. We got the Emperor here. And this is here with the Death card. So something about Aries. Okay. Or somebody that's in power. They're not going to be in power much longer. This could be a father figure. Shit, it could even be a mother figure. Let me get something here with this Six of Cups. But that is a lot of fire though. Knight of Wands, King of Wands, and then the Emperor. Like this is definitely giving me some type of progression also. Somebody has grown up. So you get to a point like, how can I say this? You get to a point when you have to live your life and you got to do what the fuck you want to do when you want to do it, how you want to do it. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, there's still certain rules and stuff like that, but that's for you to figure out and decide. But it's something here from the past that's about to end or somebody that's, yeah, they about to be gone. Let me get something here with the Six of Cups. The Death Card. Again. Okay? So I ain't just... Yeah. Don't just say I'm trying to wish death or some shit, okay? It's out here. Twice. Twice. One above the Emperor and one on the side. Okay? So, it's something here. It's about to be gone. Okay? And death is just inevitable. You know, everything has to fade away. It's one of those things. We can't resist it. And if we try to resist it, we're only hurting ourselves. Let me get something here with this Ten of Wands. This is also going to be a huge burden being taken off of someone. A huge burden being taken off of them. A huge, let me say it again, a huge burden being taken off of somebody. Because you have gotten where you were meant to get. And you have successfully closed the cycles. And when it does completely close, it will never be something that you go back to. So if this is a family, you will not be born into this family again. If this is a friendship, you will not see them in your next life. Okay? You see why it's important to close out cycles and leave people the fuck alone? You won't have to deal with these people. You won't have to suffer these people because I feel like it's people going because of something from past lives, okay? Because you, it ain't just death twice out here for no reason. Let me get something here with this Ten of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles energy here. Let me get something here with this Three of Pentacles. So we got the Three of Pentacles, but it's here with the Ten of Wands. So it was something, perhaps, I don't know, like... Maybe you were helping with something or you were having to be a part of something or something with the group, something with the family, something with like that shit's going to be dead. It's going to be gone. It's going to be over. That won't be your burden. That won't be your problem. That won't be your issue. It won't be your issue today, tomorrow or the next life because it's over. Let me get something here with this Knight of Cups or if something is getting damn near close because it is the world card. It ain't the fool card. It is the world card. But at least you know you're being crowned. At least you know you're leaving a cycle you'll never go back to. Like once you graduate high school, you don't go back to high school. You can go back to school, but you ain't going back to high school though, unless you're teaching. I'm just saying. And that's even better. Let me get something here with this Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Wands, you'll be free. Let me get something with this Five of Wands because this is really what you'll be free from. What is this Five of Wands? Because that shit is tired. Yeah, Tower, and you got the Ace of Cups. Like, it's like, man, I feel like something's going to be broken. Like a firewall is going to be broken, and someone's going to be able to have the love that they want. And this is a lot of cards. I'm not even going to look at all these cards right here. Yeah, that looked like damn near, what, five, six, seven, eight cards or something. No, I ain't going to do that. But I do see that Tower, though. Oh, we got the Ten of Sword. I'm telling you, it's going to be the end. The power of breaking cycles. Mm-hmm. The power of endings and beginnings and change and transitions. And it's out here. We have the Ten of Sword that came out. The one that I said I saw just now. The Ten of Sword is out here now. 
It's the end of that. The Ten of Swords underneath the Five of Wands. The end of all the, whatever this competition or pettiness or whatever. I don't know who this fire energy is, but I'm telling you, that shit is being closed out, closed out, closed out, closed out. Like, I mean, death twice. Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Emperor, death. Okay? That's a song. Let me get something here with this Knight of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups energy here. Well, maybe somebody was a little bit delusional about whatever this was in the past. Maybe you didn't know who they was. Maybe you know now. Okay? I'm telling you, sometimes the people that come into our life, they come to show us who, who they really are so we could be like, hell nah. Okay? That's really what it is. It's not for you to sit there and suffer or deal with some shit that it just ain't really it. You know, when it feel when it feel weird on the inside. When it's like, nah, this just can't be right. Nah, this just this just this this just can't be it. It just can't be it. Like this this ain't it. When you start feeling like that, okay, it might be telling you something. Cause I think somebody may have, you know, been wishful thinking about some shit. Or they may have been in illusions about who this person was. And that's okay. But like once we come out of that them doors is closed you can't be sitting here suffering somebody that puts you in ten of wands and five of wands and all this other shit you can't suffer somebody like that what is this here we have the hierophant energy here hierophant energy is something here about perhaps you having some type of title maybe you thought you was going to get something through this person but no it's something you're not getting through this person it's, it's like such a weird energy. It's like you're earning something on your own or you're, you're going to do something on your own. You may have thought it was coming through somebody. It's not coming through nobody. It's coming through you. You're going to get something because you earned it because the cycles have closed. Let me get something here with this emperor. We have the eight of wands out here for the second time. So this is also an energy of a swift action. Like, not not waiting, not being held up. Ten of Pentacles. Like, I mean, it could even be the energy of somebody thinking they were getting something one way, but, like, maybe you went to school for something, or maybe you learned something, or maybe, you know, that is what's going to move you forward to the Ten of Pentacles. It's not whatever this was. Like, there could have been somebody that was waiting on some type of inheritance or something like that. And it's not that. It's not that. It's something bigger than that. Okay? Or they were waiting on something, and it's like, no, that's not your destiny. Your destiny is bigger than that. And Spirit is about to show you because they're about to end all of that. Let me get something here with this Three of Pentacles. We have the Hangman energy here. Seeing something from a whole different angle, a whole different perspective. It's also something, this is a sacrifice. This Three of Pentacles, whatever this was that you thought was a goal, that's the thing you're putting down. That's what you're putting down. That's not your responsibility. And that is being, that's literally being sacrificed. I mean, I'm sorry to say it like that, but that's what it seems to be because it's like that wasn't yours. You, you want the three of pentacles or you want the 10? I'm just saying. Whatever that was, that wasn't for you. There's something that is for you though. But the only way you're going to get it is if something ends. But you got to recognize what's going on. We have the seven of wands energy here. Let me get something with this. It's something about holding your own ground. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords energy here. And breaking free from some type of mindset. It's like fighting to free yourself from something. Or that's what you have to do? What is this here? And then, okay, what is this? Three cards? Let me look at this. We got the Moon card. We got the Nine of Wands. And we have the Five of Swords here. Hmm. Pisces energy? But it could be something about hidden power. I didn't get any swords. Where are the swords? Okay, yeah, we did get two swords out here. That's it, though. This ten of swords, the eight of swords, and now I got the five of swords here. Like, what is this being blocked? Is something hidden here that's blocking a person? What is it? It's like in, a fi in the five of swords, is somebody here that... How can I say this? They're in conflict with whatever this hidden moon card and the nine of wands here this is conflicting with whatever it is you're doing 
it's like hidden. It's like a it's like a hidden seed that's been planted or some shit that was meant to block you. <sighs> this all I know is that it's some hidden shit. It's hidden, and somebody has probably been quest questioning or wondering why they can't do something, wondering why something will not move forward. Nothing's changing. We got the star card at the bottom. Yeah, that didn't make sense to me. With the moon, the nine of wands, it's like a hidden thing that, a hidden power or something that has been, yeah, like I feel like somebody put a curse on somebody or some shit, man. And yeah, they, they might fucking pass away and the curse pass away with their ass. Dead ass serious. It's something here where you got to fight. You got to fight it off of you. You got to get some type of spiritual something here. You got to do something. People don't believe in it, but you really, if you went through this shit right here, you need to believe in the shit. You need to get that shit off of you because I really, it's something here. Something, get you something here. I don't give a fuck what you do. Get you some type, but I mean for real, like, I don't know. It's hard to say because everybody believe in different things or something like that. You got to go get you something real, okay? Because I really feel, and I'm looking at this, this seven of wands and then this eight of sword. Now tell me that don't look like somebody need to fight something off of them. You need to fight something off. I don't know. It's something here that has prevented you. And then before this, we saw the moon card, the nine of wands. And then what was the other card? Damn, I don't forgot. It was the moon card. Wait, is it up here? Yeah, it is. Wow. It's the moon card, the nine of wands, and then the five of sword. Yeah. If somebody feels like, if you're like feeling like you're in a five of sword or you're conflicted with something or you're confused about something, it may be something for real. You, you might need to break it off for you. Hmm. I don't know who this could be. Okay. You got to start at the bottom. Let me get something with this. Also Aquarius energy. Like they did something here, man. It says Wheel of Karma. What's underneath the star? The Seven of Sword. They did something here. Oh my goodness. That's probably why somebody's going to pass away because of what they did. They did something here, man. They did some nasty fucking magic or they did something here. And the Wheel of Karma is coming back to eat their ass up. I'm telling you. Because it wasn't really trying to come out. And I'm like, why the fuck would it be something hidden that's blocking you? What, that, what could that be? And it was them. It was them. So this is actually karma. It says convertible. That shit switched right the fuck back. Okay? That's it. it switched all the way the fuck up. They thought they had that shit on lock. No. It switched all the way up. It says tools. Okay? I don't know what they did against you. What they used against you. What tools or resources or whatever they tried to do. But that shit done turned around. It says roadblocks. You see what I'm saying? They did something here. They used some type of tools. I don't know what the fuck they did. They did something here for real, for real to block you that you have no idea about. You have no idea about. And that's magic right there. Like when, you know, when you go to a magic show, the whole thing is you don't see what the person is doing. You just see the, what they want you to see. Right? Okay. But what they did was they tried to block you from something. They tried to block you from some type of success. And they may have successfully done that for a long time because you had no idea that this person would do something like this. You had no idea. And now I'm looking differently at that Seven of Cups underneath that this Knight of uh, Wands. I'm looking very differently at them because I was saying that it looked like they're trying to pull you back into the past because they saw something was closing out or you were gaining something or you were getting something. Yeah, they did this shit. And because I didn't catch the hint with that Seven of Cups spirit made it come out in different ways, especially with the damn Seven of Sword underneath the star. Yeah, they did that shit. They did something here to block something. And you was probably like, why? Why can't I do this? Or why is this not working? Or why this? Why that? It's because of what the fuck they did that you have no idea about. And that's why karma is about to whoop that ass. And guess what's at the bottom? A person of fire. Knight of Wands. They need to stop playing. Let me get an angel message here. just nasty it says ease and grace ease on down the road you're gonna be good it says listen deeply okay i got listen deeply and listen clearly okay this person gonna get karma you're gonna know why you might not know what the fuck they did but you're gonna know why what's going on you're gonna know let me get i mean i'm gonna leave this one right here if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribes i truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective i love you guys and i'll be back with another reading later bye